Hello everyone, Ronix from Ron Photography and today we are going to be retouching this image. This image was by Prince Mason and I'm going to put his link in the description so that you guys can check him out on his YouTube. He's an amazing photographer so this is the image and as you can see the image was initially dark so I had to pump up the exposure and pull up the shadows in camera. So we are going to be doing frequency separation using a mixer brush tool in photoshop so i'm going to be using actions and i'm going to be giving you guys actions for free i'm going to put the download link in the description of this video so that you can follow along and pass the new retouching process in photoshop so as usual we are going to come right here where the action is and uh for those who don't know how to uh put the actions in photoshop just come to window and come right here to actions and yeah it will bring this little window so click right here on actions as you can see so when you click on actions i uh, will click right here and i uh, will come to load action so you load your actions from here and they will appear right here so that is what you do it to import the actions you have downloaded so the link is going to be in the description so i'm going to start using my actions i'm going to be giving you guys the frequency separation action and the global dodging and burn for this image so i'm going to play the action and as usual uh click continue so for the radius make sure you uh, zoom until you see the skin so make sure you slide until you see less of the skin texture like this but you can still see the details in the face click ok so it will run and click continue so this is it so as usual i prefer to create a black and white layer on top of my high frequency layer so this is the color layer and this is the texture i'll come right down here and i'm going to click black and white the reason for doing this is i want something to guide us when we are uh, mixing and blending the skin tones together and when i turn off uh, this black and white layer you can see let me zoom in you can see the makeup in some places wasn't blended in uh, really well you can see on these areas right here so that's what we are going to, we are going to try to blend the makeup and uh, blend these uneven skin tones and come right here select your mixer brush tool mine is around here so you see and for the settings i prefer to use uh, a clean brush right here it is clean wetness 10 the load is at 75 the mix at 90 and the flow at 100 make sure sample oleas is not checked and make sure you have marked this little box right here then select your low frequency layer right here and uh, start blending and remember when you're blending your skin tones make sure you don't drag from the highlights to the shadows make sure you do uh, remain within the borders of the areas you're trying to blend together of the skin so we wouldn't want to flatten as uh, the model's face that's why we have to remain within the boundaries of the area we are trying to blend uh, the skin tones together so uh, this is how we do it yeah make sure you are mixing from your low frequency layer i'm sorry if i'm really being too fast I wouldn't want this tutorial to be a long one so this is why i'm really talking fast so as usual we have to check on our progress so this is the before after before after you can see i haven't removed the blemishes yet because uh what the mixer brush tool does it kind of flattens the blemishes so i'll have less work to do with the blemish removal of uh yeah, with the blemishes in this image sorry so i'm going to continue uh, blending remember i'm mixing and blending the highlights alone the mid-tones alone and the shadows and make sure when you're doing this you don't overdo a specific area for too long because uh, you may end up over smoothening it remember with the mixer brush tool we are aiming at uh, retaining uh, most of uh, the skin texture we are going in for a really natural look of our images so as you can see i'm mixing the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone in this image so you can see 
uh, I'm trying to do uh, the blending of uh, these little little skin tones as you can see we had some makeup imperfection right here so I'm blending it yeah I'm trying to uh, smoothen and fine-tune uh, the little makeup imperfection we had right here it hadn't blended into the skin really really well that is why I'm trying to uh, blend it so so much so uh, and remember keep on checking on your progress by turning off the black and white and uh, clicking on the eye icon of the frequency separation layer as you can see now we have blended that well so turn it back on and make sure you're still on the lower frequency or the lower layer selected and continue blending and guys i'm going to show you guys a simple trick after using a mixer brush tool we are going to apply another really really nice method that is going to fine tune this portrait and make it a better one remember here we are just trying to blend uh, the skin tones of the model together so and i'm sorry if at all you can hear clicks as usual i'm using my laptop so i had to drop this tutorial before uh before friday because yeah sometimes i tend to forget to drop this uh, retouching tutorial so here i am creating content for you guys to learn something and if at all you are learning something from this tutorial don't forget to uh, like this video and uh, let me show you guys I'm doing so much of the talking so you can see right on the nose area the highlight was not blended in so we are going to try to blend it more so I'm going to brush on this highlight right here because I want to blend it as uh, the more and uh, get better results on uh, this image so we are like fine-tuning the skin tones and uh, also fine-tuning the makeup uh, in this image so I think we are done uh, with that so like you're seeing how I've mixed uh, the image I haven't uh, totally zoomed in completely like I zoomed it to a reasonable amount so uh, make sure you're still on your lower frequency so let's work on uh, the neck area of our beautiful model so we are doing skin re retouching and we are using frequency separation so after this i'm going to show you a little trick uh, of how you can achieve uh, the better results after using your mixer brush tool so let's see the before after before after you can see it really looks amazing so we are going to delete the black and white or our hair player and make sure you're on your lower frequency so select your lasso tool make sure the feathering is at 18 pixels and now we are going to select uh, on the area of the skin that kind of has more texture so we are going to uh, select the forehead for uh, this tutorial so just come and uh, make a selection and when you're making a selection make sure you desist from uh, selecting uh, the areas with the eyebrows or the hair so make sure you only select on the skin area so come to filter then come to blur then uh, select gaussian blur so when you select gaussian blur here is the trick i wanted to show you guys uh the radius we use when we are applying african separation uh what i found out that works really well for me um remember we use 10 so when you multiply 10 times 3 you get 30 so for every radius you used before when you are applying your frequency separation uh, make sure you multiply it by 3 so 10 by 3 you get 30 then 30 plus 2 you get 32 so that is the figure we are going to put right here when we are using our lasso tool so we are going to select uh, the other areas and remember when you are selecting make sure you select according to the shape of the area you want uh, uh, to apply the effect so remember now we are like fine tuning uh, after using uh, the mixer brush tool uh, to blend uh, the skin tones of our beautiful model and remember we haven't removed the blemishes so i'm going to show you guys a non-destructive way of uh, removing blemishes from uh, the model skin and i found out this method and it works well for all portraits so um, select according to the shape and the direction 
as you can see when I'm on my chin area I'll just select that beautiful shape right click and apply the Gaussian blur so we are like fine tuning now the image so when I come to the nose area I'll make that shape because I'm following the direction of the shape I'm trying to apply the effect on so that is why so right click and apply the effect so make sure you don't skip this area right here apply the Gaussian blur so remember we are right clicking and applying the Gaussian blur and for the neck I don't think we are going to go there because it may end up to be it may turn up to be really extreme so uh, select your your high frequency layer and you can either use this uh, healing brush tool or the spot healing brush or the patch tool or the clone stamp and for this tutorial I'm going to use the clone stamp tool because I found out that it really works well with our blemish removal so use the brackets to increase or decrease on the size so uh, click or hold down the alt button sorry about this so when you hold down the alt button uh, select from the area after sorry uh, use this clone stamp so select the area and paint over the blemish you want uh, to eliminate from the model skin so out and delete the area like that so you continue uh, removing uh, the blemishes from uh, those areas you want to uh, clean up so sample from a clean area and paint over the blemish so the clean area you sample from is uh, that area that is almost close to uh, the blemish and has almost the very same skin tone so continue uh, deleting or removing uh, the blemishes from uh, the model skin and by the end of this you will see that uh, the results are really perfect and we don't have any distractions I think we are done with that so you can see the before frequency separation and the after before after so after this we are going to uh, do a little bit of uh, global dodging and burning to add shape and dimension to the models first remember frequency separation kind of flattens the image so click right here and I'm going to look for my action remember I told you guys uh, for my actions I'm going to put the link the download link for you guys so that you can follow along and fasten your retouching process click on it so I click and to play remember it creates uh, for you the black and white layer automatically so click on your dodge layer and get your brush tool right here make sure the opacity is down to around 9 and the flow is at 100 so uh, turn off your frequency passion layer because we want to get the initial where the highlights and the shadows were originally so that's why we turn off the frequency separation layer because it may have a flat in the image so we are going to paint you make sure white is on the foreground so we paint using a white brush uh, on a black mask that's the secret behind this so paint over uh, that area remember we had a highlight right here and yeah we have a highlight here and a highlight right here so I think we are done so come to your burn layer and we want to enhance uh, this uh, shape of the nose yeah so we have those shadows and we are going to enhance and when you're doing this make sure you, you are not totally zoomed into your image remember we are adding shape so turn back your frequency separation layer and uh, click on this black and white layer I named it dodge and burn so and delete it so you can see the before and after let me zoom out a little bit you can see a before after before after you can see like the image is now back to life so what we are going to do right now we are going to do a little bit of color grading on this image so we are going to be using uh, the selective color right here so we are going to add magenta to this image three can do and we are going to uh, remove uh, the yellows from this portrait yeah i think that is fine for the color grading so what we are going to do right now let's do a little bit of eye whitening of our beautiful model one whiten the eyes so we are going to create a stamp visible layer 
and we are going to go to camera row and we use our adjustment brush tool to whiten the eyes so i click shift alt ctrl e on the keyboard and duplicate this layer ctrl j and come to filter right here and i click on camera camera row filter so when you click on camera row filter it is going to load and when it loads uh, make sure you get your zoom tool right here and uh, select the eye area you zoom in because we want to whiten this white area and click on your uh, adjustment brush tool for the settings i'm going to uh desaturate it to around because we have yellow in the eye i will uh, put negative eight and the tint at 70 the highlights i will use six and the whites at four I make sure you desaturate it to around negative 73 so we are removing color from uh, the white area of the eye so paint over uh, the white area of the eye and maybe this little patch light so when you do this uh, also come and zoom in the second eye so click and now uh, uh, start painting over the white area of the eye of the model so I think we are done with the whitening of the eye of the model so you can just click ok you can see now the eye is white so before after it is subtle but uh, the result is really nice and beautiful so let me show you guys what we did uh, for this image so I'll turn off these layers right here uh, remember the image was initially underexposed so I had to pump up the exposure in camera row and uh, pull up the shadows a little bit. So we did uh, frequency pressure using a mixer brush tool and the lasso tool method. You can see the after and the before, after, before, after. Then after we did a uh, global dodging and burning to uh, enhance the shape of the model's face. Then we did a little bit of color grading to this image so uh, we use selective color for color grading so we created the stamp visible layer by clicking shift alt ctrl e and we did the eye whitening, uh, eye whitening so if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't uh, drop a comment in the comment section thank you for watching i'm ronix from ronix photography till next time and see you in yet another retouching tutorial